Hey guys, I know I usually put these out, this week's winning stocks and this week's option picks out earlier. I was planning on putting them out Friday, but I wasn't feeling well from Thursday night and ended up having to go to the hospital Saturday and being checked in. So it was a serious issue. I not naming the hospital, I would say I found it a little dysfunctional and had to check out early. But in any event, this is why I am just getting this to you. I want to get some sleep. Go to, go to bed, get a nice sleep. But I said I have to drop this information for you guys before I do that. So, want to, you know, I like to go through the things that we've already covered before getting to the current option pick. And we, the first one that we got in the first episode of this week's option picks, I picked up the Hershey Company. It was a May 17th expiration with a $190 strike price. I bought it on January 8th and I didn't feel comfortable with the way it was moving so I sold it for a 15.14% loss, $187.33 loss. If you look back in the previous episodes, you should see that it moved up to a point of like a 20% return, 20 something percent return, if I would have held on to it, but I sold it a little too early. In any event, it's dropped again, but now, it's at a 1.88% return. In other words, if you didn't sell it then and you still held it now, and you got in at the price that I got in there, you would be $23.34 the profit with a 1.88% return. Next thing I grabbed was UUP, which is the US dollar. I bought it on the 12th, sold it on the 18th, bought it on January 12th, sold it on January 18th, six months late, six days later, I'm sorry, for a $212.76 return. That was a 20.25% return in six days. Now, Humana came up, but unfortunately, I didn't have the available cash in my account to purchase Humana at the time. I would have had to sell other things, which I'm trying to hold on to for long-term capital gains. So I didn't buy Humana, but I told you guys about her in case you wanted to buy it. On the 27th, I dropped this. If you would have sold Humana at the bid price, you would have gotten a 20% return, $530. If you would have sold it at the mid price, meaning you would have had to held out and waited for longer, you would have got a $1,325 return. That's 50%. However, as of right now, Humana has come back down. So if you held on to it, your return right now would be $280.
that's a 10.56 percent return now I wouldn't say that's a horrible return there are people who buy stocks and they make 10 percent a year and they rave about it I don't but they do so if you're gonna make 10 percent in less than a month, I don't really see any shame in that. Next, we bought Yum China Holdings. And when we bought Yum China Holdings, paid for it on I should say bought it on January 23rd and sold it on February 9th. Bought it for $953.32. Sold it for $1,338.66. That is a 385.34 dollar return or a 40.42% return in what, what's around 16 days? So now we get what's currently happening. Currently, the stock that I bought or I should say, the option that I most recently bought for February 9th sold Yum China, which of the things was available to get it, was Air Productions and Chemicals. And I bought it for $1,320.66. It has a June 21st expiration and a $220 strike price. By the time I ended the day, bought it Friday morning, by Friday night, I was already nineteen point thirty four, nineteen dollars and thirty four cents in profit. That is a one point four six percent profit. Now, guys, and I'm bringing this up for a reason. Every option that I'm giving you is an option that I'm getting with the exception of UUP. Every option idea that I'm getting and giving to you is an option that's coming directly out of this week's stock winners. I picked the one from this week's stock winners that seems to show the most potential to me for an option play. And that's what I bring over here and buy so that you can watch its movement. Um, so you want to check out this week's stock winners and get a look at what's going on in there as well. The other thing is, I told you I just bought air products and chemicals. Well, I have a video that I'm dropping in the channel you should be able to find it in the description of this video and you'll also find it in the channel it'll it'll also be in the stock analysis uh, playlist so you can check that out as well in any event that's the end of this video i look forward to speaking to you guys in the next video have a great week.
Well, I should say have a great night.